Wait, is that Rosaria? Huh. She's standing next to an adventurer Paimon doesn't recognize. Oh, thinks she's also here to play some cards? Say no more, Valerina. I'll continue to help you out just as Victoria requested. I think this is my first time seeing Rosaria. Look after the cats, check up on their health, give them a bath. These are all things well within my capabilities. We are gonna be cat sitters! That doesn't solve our biggest problem though, Miss Rosaria. The cats have been so anxious. If we can't get them to trust us, they're sure to get sick from all the anxiety. Oh no. We just opened, and the Furball Fortress is already about to go under. <laughs> oh God, they were not prepared. Well, panicking certainly isn't going to solve the problem. The fact is, neither of us has a way with cats. That's not something I can change. Hi, Rosaria! And hello to you too, Miss Adventurer! Sounds like you're all really worried about something. Our cat saviors! They've appeared already! Uh, cat saviors? Uh, saviors? Uh, seems a bit sudden considering we just met. I smell a commission coming. I'll try to keep it short. My name's Valerina, and I really like small animals. Recently, I've been trying to set up a shelter for stray cats. I call it the Furball Fortress. Oh, okay. So what does that entail? <laughs> I thought it would be a good way to rescue those poor animals that have nowhere to go. Plus, getting them off the streets will improve the overall environment and look at the city. It's a win-win. We should actually invite Venti to this. Not tell him that this is like a cat fortress. Have him come over. Be like, hey, like, come over. We'll enjoy like a nice glass of wine together. Boom. Allergies all day. The sisters over at the church heard about my plans and sent over the kindly Miss Rosaria to help. I wouldn't exactly describe myself as kindly. <laughs> I just accepted the assignment from Victoria. After all, I was the only one with any knowledge of medicine or the spare time to help. Well, it seems like you've got quite the plan, Valerina. Thanks for bringing us up to speed. So what do you need us to do? So, what had you so worried just now? Are you short on Mora? Are you missing something you need? No, I've got more than enough Mora. The funds, the location, the supplies, all the various procedures. They've all been settled. The main problem is, um... The cats. They... Uh, <laughs> keep swatting at me. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. They're always hissing and swatting. They won't let me approach them, not even with treats. <sighs> the cats are afraid of me as well. They run away the minute I'm in the vicinity. Help! All I've right. Seen something like this before. There's something about certain people that just makes cats afraid. Well, cats like us, we've dealt with cats plenty of times before. Huh. A kind-hearted cat rescuer who doesn't get along with cats. Hmm. Seems like just visiting the cat's tail would be enough to leave you flustered, let alone running your own cat shelter. That's why we consulted an expert. But Miss Margaret wasn't able to offer a solution to our problem. She's short on workers, so she couldn't spare anyone to help us either. She did give us one piece of advice, though. To enlist oh. the help of the honorary knight and their trusty helper in white. <laughs> nice, that rhymed. We had just wrapped up our conversation, and the next thing we knew, you two appeared before us like saviors sent by Lord Barbados himself. Yeah, well, actually, I was trying to, to, to forge my second four star so I could get 150 primo gems, and then I got interrupted. Well, Paimon's not sure how much Lord Barbados would know about taking care of cats. <laughs> but that aside, we've never even worked at a shelter before, but somehow we've been turned into the saviors of the entire operation. Yeah, actually, we were just talking about playing with cats. Well, that's true. Even if Paimon has no experience working at a shelter, she's confident she can get on their good side just fine. Like, that's all we need to do here, right? We just need to show Valerina and Rosaria how to get friendly with the cats, and everything else should fall into line. Okay, yeah, exactly. Feel free to focus your efforts on Valerina. Just call me if any of the cats need medical attention. Hmm. If you all can keep the shelter running with minimal effort on my part, this errand might turn out to be a good use of my time after all. It's better than church activities in any case. So that's why you 
agreed to help. You just wanted to shirk your church duties. All right. Well, I guess I should show you around first. Cool. Follow me, you two. Let's make our way to the Furball Fortress. To the Furball Fortress. <laughs> I mean, if this is anything like Tamagotchi, I have this not in the bag. I was terrible at uh, Tamagotchi. My, my Tamagotchi pets always, they always died. So I threw it out. But I am going to succeed today. These cats are going to love me. They're going to grow up and be strong cats. Wait, where's, where's the cat? Where's the cat place? Wait, I thought it was in uh, the cat's tail. What the heck? Where is it? Oh, it's in this place. I thought it was in the cat's tail. Okay, so this is the furball fortress. Okay, it is nice in here. Oh, it's just a regular house. Oh, gotta say, Paimo was expecting something a little bigger with fortress in the name and everything. Yeah, to be honest, me too. It seems very empty. I didn't want to say anything and hurt her feelings, but yeah, I mean, I can see why the cats aren't having fun. This was the biggest space I could find in the city over the past few weeks. The rent is cheap, so that's a plus. A half a year's worth of rent, along with all the cat's tail inspired furnishings, only cost me a few million mora. A few million mora? Of course. Not all of the cats will be staying indefinitely. We plan to offer some of the healthy ones up for adoption. As long as the new future owners prove capable and the cat seems like a good fit, they're welcome to take their new pet back to a loving home. Is this place going to be permanent then? This location is definitely good enough. We could even expand the business one day and start sheltering stray dogs, foxes, or even squirrels. When squirrels. that day comes, though, I'll probably have to think of a different name. Huh, maybe the... Furball and Friends Fortress would be a better fit. <laughs> yes, that is a good one. I would suggest letting all of this play out first. You still don't know if the customers will even get along with the strays. Huh? Look over there! The cat Aww. is staring at us. Oh, it's the little white cat. She's super afraid of people. She ran away when we tried to give her a bath. It took us forever to track oh, her yeah. down again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Giving a cat a bath? Terrible idea. She looks so soft and clean, and her fur is so white and fluffy, just like fresh falling snow. Aww. Wait, that's perfect! We should call her Snowball! Yeah, Tofu would also be a good fit. Ooh, those are some good names, Traveler, but Paimon thinks she likes Snowball best. Yeah, I agree. Is it gonna attack? It, it's been what? A minute? And you already got the cat to listen to you. Did you see that, Miss Rosaria? She's practically a miracle worker. <laughs> you really are a cat whisperer. Ah, uh, that was nothing. They may be strays, but as long as you give them a good name and call them with love, you're sure to gain their trust eventually. First things first, though, you gotta pay attention to the way you interact with them. Um, how should Paimon put it? Basically, it all comes down to your demeanor. For example, you can't just stand there <laughs> trembling in fear, Valerina. If you're afraid, the cats are sure to become afraid as well. As for you, Rosaria, you might want to keep an eye on your, uh, facial expressions. I don't think I ever trembled in fear because of a cat. These poor creatures. That would be new for me. The streets, given a name, and they now have a loving home. Fate is kind to even the lost souls who have wandered astray. This city really has brought peace and happiness to us all. Aww. Hey, Snowball, Snowball understands. Up to Rosaria. Looks like she's not afraid of Aww, her anymore. Oh, the cat's showing her belly. She trusts Rosaria. Did Rosaria just smile? I saw it too. No matter. There are more important things to focus on. 
Anyway, it's getting a bit stuffy in here. I, I'm going to go get some air. Call me if you need me. Oh, is she allergic to cats? Huh. Paimon thought Rosaria would be happier about that. <laughs> She's probably going outside and cry. Please. Super teach me happy. More of your ways, happy tears. Honorary knight. And you too. Oh, great cat whisperer. We're sure to get more and more strays coming to the Furball Fortress, and I doubt all of them will be as friendly as Snowball. There's still so much I don't know about interacting with them. No problem, just watch and learn. It's about time we move on to a more advanced lesson. How to get the cats not to just trust you, but to like you. It's all about patience. As long as you put in the effort to get to know them, you'll become best friends in no time! I completely understand. The Furball Fortress is still in its trial phase. So, the more I can learn at this stage, the better. Okay, perfect. Let's teach her the ways. You must take various requirements into consideration when setting up your fluffy feline home. There are three attributes in this event, comfiness, durability, and aesthetics. You are required to select one suitable furnish furnishing of each type in such a way that the overall area fits the three attribute requirements exactly. No more and no less. Okay, so we are looking for comfiness, durability, and aesthetics. So, uh, durability is big here, apparently. So, maybe a lunch break chair. Ooh, comfy is looking good. Um, what about... So, this is aesthetics. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. And a gentle light. Nope, too comfy. Ooh, close. We don't have anything in here. A cum... Nope. Flowing. Oh, dang it. Hey! There we go! That looks good. Perfect. Requirements met. Now feed the cats. Some... Some fish. Why not? Oh, perfect. Number two. Oh man, this place is going to be a fortress after we are done. So it doesn't really have to be comfy. It is very aesthetics. So uh, for sure that we are going for maybe the unbending uh, plants here. Um, the the philosophy. No, nope, that's too much. Pain relief. No, nope, that's too much too. So we're going to bring this down. We need to find the less comfy. We need to lower the comfy. This is a puzzle. Hey, okay, there we go. Easy. You just have to click until everything works. Feed the cat. We're gonna go with some raw meat. Oh yeah, this place is coming together. Wow, the comfiness is all of the way up. That's comfy. I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with this. And I'm gonna go with this and this. Okay, so we do need to change some things around. Uh, there we go, I knew it. Yeah, that's a nice little area. I think that's actually my favorite area so far that we've done. These are all nice, like, seating. Nice seated areas. This one looks, this one looks really nice. All right, feed the cats some seafood. Oh, are we supposed to play with the cats? I can do this, I don't need to read. I've done this before, all right. Little pet, ah! Jeez. Ah, it likes its, it likes its little chest rubbed. Ah, perfect. Okay, what about its hind quarters? Oh yeah, that's a plus forty. Needing the chair. All right, perfect. Let's go for a nice long pet. Nice long pet. 
Oh, that's a plus zero? Really? That's a plus zero? And I put it there. Oh, that is so cute. That's a plus 20. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna hiss at me. Okay, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I know you're never supposed to grab a cat's tail. I just felt right there for a second. I'm sorry. Too much. Okay. Okay, all right, all right. This one's done. After leaving the cat's first ship will not be saved. Leave wait, what? Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so we need inseparable. Oh, we're cherished. Okay, perfect. Still doesn't want to pet there. Or there. What about on the belly? What about right here? Oh, okay, alright. That's a plus ten. Plus zero. Nothing on the butt. Not up here. What about up here? Oh, it finally likes being petted on its head. Oh. Uh, there you go, Snowball. Inseparable. All right. We did our job. Oh my god, Mona. What the? Me, meow? Is this really how cats greet one another? I wonder if my pronunciation's on point. Meow. Looks like Snowball didn't understand even a whisker. Snowball looks quite well behaved, but seems not to comprehend my meaning. Perhaps we lack that special connection. So I would like to observe a bit more, you know? Keep an eye out for obedient cats. Oh, I must calculate the cost of a cat bed, cat food, and other expenses. Not too luxurious, but also not too shabby. Wouldn't do to submit the cat to hardship. It's okay, take your time. So is she going to adopt the cat or not? I'm confused. I do want to play with this cat though. Oh wait, no, this is one that we just... Get out of here, Snowball! I don't know why I wanted to play with you again. I was rude. Now oh, let's play with this cat. I don't know. Oh my goodness. I don't know what this cat's name is. Stripes. Your name is Stripes. There we go. Perfect. It's like, oh, jeez. Okay, hindquarters. Good. Put your butt down. There we go. We're gonna be cherished. Do I grab the cat's tail? Oh my, I'm sorry. What about your head? Okay, yeah, you like that. I knew you would. We're gonna be cherished here in a second. The cat loves us. Okay, what about your belly? Back to your belly? Yep, I knew it. Needing the chair. Come on, kitty cat. We're going to be inseparable. All right, maybe the back. Zero. There we go. All right. Now, who wants to adopt this cat? Oh, I was just asking Bunny about the weather and whether or not it would rain. Do cats know that kind of thing? Lisa said something about that. According to a book she read, cats are very sensitive to humidity and don't like the feeling of being wet. So if they notice sudden increase in the humidity, they'll start nervously pawing their faces and licking their fur. Once a cat does something like that, it's a sign that a large rainstorm is likely on its way. Whoa, Paimon had no idea. That's so cool. Guess we just learned something amazing by accident. That's when I remembered what Lisa told me. So I went ahead and asked Bunny about the weather. But she responded by rubbing her face and wagging her tail, then lying on the ground and snuggling against my hand. So, is it actually going to rain or not over the next few days? All right. I don't know what... What's your name? Jeez. Their hisses are so aggressive. Their faces are like filled with hate. What about the butt? 
No, okay, 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 okay. About right here? No, nope, we have already done that part. Oh, I'm sorry. What about your tail? Oh, you like your tail petted. All right. That's a first. Well, stop moving it around so I can keep petting it. All right, maybe the paws. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. This cat likes that. Doesn't like doesn't like its hind quarters. Petted. And a chest? Yeah, okay. Perfect. A little more. Okay, maybe now she will let me pet her on her head. Let's see. Oh, okay. She trusts me. One more. No. Tail. Oh, perfect. We are inseparable. I'm going to be owning a lot of cats. That's for sure. Yo, Razor. What? You're going to adopt a cat? Dust ball. It's you. Me. I'm talking. Talking. Razor, are you talking to Dust Ball? It seems like Dust Ball is trying to say that's right. A familiar scent looking for friends. It is good. Happy. Dust Ball has brought me lots of nuts. And meat boxes. I am very full. Sounds like Valerino order delivery then. Did Dust Ball deliver the food to you, Razor? I might never imagine that the cats would actually end up taking care of their customers here in the Furball Fortress. Looks like you really are the cat's meow, eh, Razor? Okay. And here we are. Okay. Comfiness, durability, and aesthetics. So we want to go with comfy, but we also do want the durability to be at half of the bar. We do need some more comfiness. Uh, comfiness? Nope, too much! Aesthetics. We need some aesthetics. And there we go. That's actually a nice little area. I like it. I wonder what cat is gonna be in here. Feed the kitty cat some raw meat. A black and white cat. Alright. This is gonna be easy. We're gonna go back to inseparable. I hope all of you are enjoying today's video. This is a nice little chill time. In between all of the craziness of the story quests that we have been having. Hanging out with some cats. Making sure that they're having a good time. Oh, jeez, he tried nipping at me. Okay. Maybe this is actually... Just as stressful as story quests, interlude quests. Okay, there we go. Hey, whoa, jeez. I'm just trying to make you feel better. There we go. Almost too inseparable. Let's see. Head yet? Oh! Not yet. Okay, there we go. Bye-bye. Oh, official. Dopey. <laughs> Dopey isn't the brightest, and he can't really understand or appreciate your exquisite choice of words. Please show him clemency, princessin. <laughs> hey, wait, no, that's not right. Why does Paimon get like this whenever she sees Fischl? I, the great cat conjurer, sincerely pay my humble respects. As I anticipated, cat conjurers, thou hath once more been brought before our august person by the weavings of the threads of fate. Tis a most pleasing reunion. But Paimon hopes you'll have fun here at the Furball Fortress, Fischl. Oh no! A big ferocious cat! The cat is hissing at me, Miss Rosaria! I'm scared! 
Me too, that one has a scar. You should probably give him some space. Get too close and all that swatting might catch you in the face. Oh no, seems like Valerina has run into some more cat-sized trouble. Uh-oh, there's something almost dignified about him. Honorary Knight, Cat Whisperer! This big cat just barged in here after Snowball. He must have spotted her when she went out for a walk and followed her all the way back here. Easy, easy. No one's going to hurt you here. All those evil things. That kid, all those the cat bad is big. People who forced you oh to my do goodness. whatever it took to survive. They can't find you here. You're safe within these walls. You're surrounded by oh good my goodness. people now. Their constant hovering might get a little annoying, but it's all for your own good. Just relax. A life of leisure isn't a bad thing, you know. You just have to get used to it. Is she talking to the cat or herself? He, he understood all that? Looks like it worked. <laughs> Smart cat. Whoa, this cat is way bigger than the others. Uh, yeah. His coloring looks like fresh squeezed buell fruit juice. And he's wearing a scarf too. Huh? Looks like there's some sort of design on it. Oh, it's the symbol of the Knights of Avonius. He deserves a name fit for a knight then. Hmm, he is pretty feisty. How about Sir Pouncelot? Sir Pouncelot, I like it. He likes it too. You really do have a way with cats. He looks way more at ease now. Paimon thinks you deserve to take the credit this time. Sir Pouncelot seemed to calm down right after everything you said to him. You're getting much better with them, Rosaria. It doesn't matter to me either way. Although, the fact that they're cute doesn't hurt. True. Let Paimon show you how to put Sir Pouncelot completely at ease. Oh boy. Paimon just needs to work oh boy. Of her magic and he'll be as happy be. Oh boy. Okay, so we gotta go back here. Oh, there's Sir Pouncelot. Oh boy, we even have a supervisor right now. That's great. Okay, comfiness very much. Definitely, we need the durability. I'm gonna go with just a simple bench. Uh, right at home couch. And then I'm gonna go with uh, this because it does have some cupcakes on it. I mean, I feel like Sir Pouncelot would like the cupcakes. Uh, we do need just a little bit more comfiness, but and, and aesthetic actually. I'm gonna go with that one and then uh, Nope Okay, all right, M maybe just maybe Okay, hold on uh Oh, uh oh, we're, we're getting we're whoa, whoa, whoa We got off the rails here for a second Okay, yeah, that's good the, com the comfiness needs to come down. And we, we are looking for durability right now. Nope, durability is way too high. Comfy and aesthetics. The durability is still too high. Oh, hold on a minute. Aesthetics is too high with that. What? Oh, no. Okay, yeah, this is actually... All right, restart. Restart. Hmm, okay. What would Sir Pounce a lot like? Yeah, I think that looks nice in here. Maybe uh, a raid at home. I feel like this is the right sofa. Right? Sir Pounce a lot is right at home. And I do think that he would like cupcakes. But apparently not. So we're going to go with uh, this plain table. We need some more comfiness and aesthetics. Good. I knew I was going to be wrong with that one. All right. Uh, we need more aesthetics. Hmm. Nope. That's fine too. Okay. All right. I see you, game. I see you. Now it's durability. Aesthetics is too high. Durability is fine there. Durability. All right. That is good. The comfiness needs to come down. But how do I get... Hey, it was the plant the whole time. Jeez. All right. Sir Pouncelot is clearly particular. Uh, Rami. 
It looks it looks like a a, a lion. So uh, just give him a ten pound steak. Let's try and play with him. I feel like this is gonna be terrible. All right. Just looking at him, I'm gonna go ahead and say probably he only likes his head. No. No. His chest? Nope. Uh, hind corners? N only his head. I'm gonna go with his head first. No! Uh, pause. Okay, yeah, pause. He likes his paws petted. Ooh. Was that another 40? I got two 40s. Okay. I would imagine that he doesn't like his tail touched. Or his hindquarters. Oh, he does. Okay. I did not see that one coming. That was a twist. Pet, 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 pet. All right, here we go. I'm going to test it. Nope, I knew it. Oh my God. He attacked his own tail. <laughs> what about your head? Still, nope. Okay, that's still a no. What about your chest? No. What? Oh my God, he left. He left. Sir Pouncelot, you get back here right now. We are not. It restarted. Okay. Clearly, if you make him mad enough, he's just gonna leave. All right. So don't touch his tail. Don't touch his head. Don't touch. I think his chest was off limits too. His hindquarters was okay. Yep. Okay. He liked that. Okay. Maybe once we get to cherished, we can touch his chest. Let's test it. Nope. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Back to pause. Okay. There we are. Good. That was a 20. Good. No, 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 please don't leave. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Hind quarters still zero. Oh no. Where else would he like to be pet? Oh, okay. Shoulders. I can do that for you. Okay. No. Front paws. Yes. We figured him out. Definitely a difficult cat. Uh oh. All right. We are inseparable. Man, that was difficult. Nobody is around here. Yep, he looks right at home. You better be on your best behavior from now on, okay? Don't go causing trouble now. <laughs> Paimon knows you're a sweet, happy little cat. You'll get along with everyone just fine. He's so adorable. I just want to scratch his head and oh pinch boy. his little cheeks. He does have a certain endearing quality about him. When he's not causing trouble, that is. Huh. I wonder how he got that injury around his eye. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. The traces of restored Albedo that Sir Pouncelot should be in the vicinity. Wait a minute, Albedo literally called him Sir Pouncelot too? No way. Huh? Oh, it's the traveler Paimon and Sister Rosaria. And you must be an adventurer. I don't believe we've met. It appears Sir Pouncelot has taken quite the liking to you. What are the chances? Albedo! It's been such a long time. It's super great to see you. Uh, but are you sure you're in the right place? This is my first time meeting Albedo. I'm assuming the captain of the investigation team is here for some important reason. C captain He's a captain of the Knights of Avonius? 
An important officer just showed up without warning. And I don't even have any refreshments or snacks to offer. <laughs> Please, allow me to explain, sir. I assure you, this shelter is operating under a legitimate business license. All proper procedures have been followed. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Assuming that Albedo has arrived to investigate her business, Valerina frantically searches for the relevant documents while explaining the purpose of the shelter. Valerina appears intimidated by the identity of the visitor, unaware that the investigation team doesn't handle such inspections. There's no need to worry. I was simply in the area helping my team address a small issue. Namely, the location of this cat right here. Not too long ago, interim team feline treatment case number three, Sir Pouncelot, knocked out the weapons officer who was watching over him. He then fled and disappeared into the city. We knew we had to recover him as fast as possible. The cat belongs to the investigation team and even bears the insignia of the Knights of Favonius. If he were to wreak havoc across the city, well, that would hardly be a welcome result for any party involved. Uh oh. So he actually belongs to the investigation team? You're saying Sir Pouncelot is capable of knocking out a knight? And it's impressive. Official sounding titles you added to his name. Into a treatment case something or other? Is there something else you're not telling us? Uh, well, I suppose I should explain. Two months ago, Sir Pouncelot got lost in the wild and accidentally ingested whopper flower nectar. What? Due to certain effects that are not entirely understood as of yet, the nectar caused him to triple in size. Well, give him some more! Triple? Even regular sized cats can get pretty bold when they're upset. A cat triple the size? Oh, Paimon bets even a hilly churl wouldn't be enough to scare off a cat like that. So that's what happened. No wonder he was so anxious. For cats, or really any animal that lives in the wild, a larger size doesn't exactly confer many advantages. What it actually does is make their appearance more noticeable and their movements less nimble. Which in turn means living in perpetual danger of exposing themselves to attacks from predators. In other words, it means living in a constant state of fear. Exactly. When Sir Pouncelot stumbled upon our encampment, he looked quite worse for wear. His entire body was riddled with scars, and he appeared exceptionally anxious. Th that's awful. I guess he had a good reason for all that swatting earlier then. But he's good now. If all that had happened to me, I would be afraid of new people and strange animals too. You don't need to worry too much. The problem has already been solved. I administered a restorative potion to eliminate the alchemical effects of the Whopper Flower Nectar and help him return to a normal size. Oh, he's not going to be a giant cat anymore? Although he still might appear a bit larger than the average cat, his current size, at least, should pose no more threat to his quality oh, of life. Oh, he was bigger than this! While in our care, various knights have been taking turns watching over him. In light of his feisty demeanor, Klee decided to call him Sir Pouncelot. Ah, uh, that makes sense. We even made him that little scarf as a testament to his time among our ranks. Whoa, Klee and Paima were totally on the same wavelength <laughs> with this one. We thought of the exact same name. Great minds really do think alike. <laughs> yep, so true. Sir Pouncelot's extreme level of anxiety and caution around people may be a result of residual trauma from the time of his transformation. You could say he was less than friendly towards the weapons and signals officers on our team. Klee wasn't around that much to entertain him either. However, it appears Sir Pouncelot has taken quite the liking to you. The knights on my team would never have imagined that he could warm up to people like this. <laughs> well, they are our dear cat saviors after all. The famed honorary knight and Paimon the Cat Whisperer. No matter how feisty or frightening the cat, after a few minutes with the Traveler and Paimon, they'll be as sweet as can be. If that's the case, then I have a question for you both. 
Would you be willing to adopt Sir Pouncelot? Yeah, absolutely! Wait, really? But doesn't he belong to your team? Well, we did take him in, but... They almost have the same eyes! Was simply out of necessity. We were always planning to find him a permanent home after his condition became more stable. The investigation team is no place for a pet. We are a combat unit, after all. Any knight he got close to would have to go on assignment eventually. It's hardly appropriate to just leave him at camp. And bring him on our missions would only frighten him further. All good points. He's been through quite the ordeal already. For a creature like that, it's best to keep him away from potential triggers. That way, he can slowly recover in peace. Hmm... We could set up a yeah. nice, cozy little home for him in the Serena Teapot. It has everything he could want! And most importantly, no monsters. Yeah, and I still have to make my frog farm. Great! Welcome to the family, Sir Pouncela. Oh, no need to thank me. If you find yourselves with some time on your hands, maybe you can bring him by the encampment sometime. I'm sure my fellow knights would love a chance to see his calmer side. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that was so touching. I can't believe I got to witness such a special moment. I do believe this counts as the Furball Fortress's first successful adoption. Oh yeah, that's right. The rest of them were just thinking about it. Hey, my veil is not a handkerchief. It appears you enjoy interacting with small animals, Sister Rosaria. I must admit, I find that a bit surprising. Paimon can also sense that you're an animal lover, Rosaria. You definitely have a way with cats. You just haven't realized it yet. After all, it's not a side of you that comes out very often. Snowball warmed up to you right from the start. And you were the one that helped Sir Pouncelot calm down back there! Oh, uh, I didn't really do anything, though. I was just... there. Is she going to adopt a cat? Ah, I've got it! I've learned so many useful tips from our dear cat saviors recently. I've decided to extend the shelter's trial period for a bit ah. in order to go over what I've learned. With some effort, I hope I can be a cat whisperer too one day. <laughs> For now, though, I'll settle for Cat Whisperer in training. <laughs> there you go. That sounds good. When I open for good, oh my! What do you say we run the shelter together, Miss Rosaria? With the two of us, we could rescue every stray in Mondstadt. Hmm, the sister and the Whisperer working together. Almost sounds like it was meant to be. <laughs> sounds like a good name for like a, a tavern. Oh, the sister well, and the Whisperer. This errand hasn't proved to be too troublesome. It's light on work and stress. I suppose I wouldn't be opposed to your suggestion. I don't know much about rescuing stray animals, but this seems to be quite the milestone. Allow me to offer my congratulations. If my fellow knights run into any strays, I'll be sure to tell them to send them your way. Thank you, thank you, thank you! I really can't thank you all enough for your support! Don't worry, there's a generous reward in store for each and every one of you! The trial phase of the Furball Fortress could not have been more successful! When we open for good, you all simply must come to the opening ceremony! We'll cut the ribbon together! Now Heck that's yeah. what calls a successful commission! Rewarding in more ways than one! Mora, a sense of accomplishment, and of course, our special friend, Sir Pouncelot! Talk about a win-win-win! A win-win-win indeed! Paimon can't wait for the Furball Fortress to open for good! Well, that is the end of the quest we built! The Furball Fortress up! We have potential cats being adopted! Left and right! We even adopted our own cat. What a fun little quest right before the epic 4.6 update. I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. You know, we do get a cat for the Serenity Pot. We got some uh, Primo gems. All in all, I really, I really liked it. It was a nice de-stressor. A few stressful moments with the cats hissing at us and swatting at us, but it's okay. <laughs> I still enjoyed it overall. 
I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!